This video tutorial is designed to show you how to build a coaster using the Express Editor. The Express Editor is great if you just want to build a track quickly or if you want to use the Advanced Editor later and you're just blocking out the track to start. Since it's so easy to use, you can create an entire sophisticated coaster track like this one in about 5 minutes. Let's get started. From the Coaster Toolbar, the first button is the Train Library. This is where you will begin when constructing a new coaster. The first step is to decide which train type you want to construct. Using the coaster properties, you can change the train and rail type later if you wish. For this example, choose the Intamin Launch. After the train loads, the coaster will show an attached single track segment. You may move your coaster around to find the best position to start creating your coaster. You may also hold down Alt to change the rotation. After positioning the first segment, Left click the mouse to place the segment. The rails now become detached from the cursor. You will be asked if you'd like to add a station. Press yes. After the station loads, it will be added to the first coaster segment. Move your mouse over the exit of the station and use the mouse wheel to zoom in. The zoom follows the direction of the mouse, so simply placing the mouse at the exit and zooming in will give you a close-up view. You will notice there are a couple of spheres. These are your rail segment nodes. We will use these later to deform the rails. You will also notice there's a glowing transparent track exiting the station. This is the suggested track piece. Next we will begin construction of the actual coaster circuit. Just a quick reminder, controls can be adjusted in the Tools Options menu including Edge Scroll, invert pitch, scroll speed settings, as well as swap the rotate and move controls and more. Now zoom out just a little to get a clear view. Press the build button. You will notice the short transparent segment has extended out from the station and has now become solid and a new suggested transparent segment has been added. Next we will build the lift. Select lift 100 from the specialty segments list. The suggested transparent piece instantly changes to a 100 foot lift with supports. Press build to make it permanent. Next, select drop turn 100 from the list and press build. Now press loop from the list. Now is a good time to show a handy feature in the track editor. Move the length slider from side to side. You can see that the track element is proportionally scaled with the track supports and all. This works with any track element. Put the slider back where you started and press build. Next we will use the top buttons to custom make our next segment. Press the second button labeled pitch from the left located at the top of the coaster construction window, the one next to the straight up button. You will notice the transparent straight piece now bends upward. Make sure the heading button in the next row is in the middle and the roll button is set to level. Level is at the bottom of the circular button set in the middle. Next press build to make the piece permanent. Click build once again to keep climbing. Now click the button in the middle of the pitch set to level out the track and press build again. Next click build four more times. Later, we're going to manually edit this straight section by hand, creating some smooth hills. For now, press the 90 degree left button, which is the furthest heading button on the left, and press build. Click the middle heading button to straighten out the track, and press the medium downhill button. This is the second button from the furthest right in the pitch button set. Now press build two times. Next press the small downhill button which is one to the left of the medium downhill button. This allows us to have a more gradual natural looking ending to the downhill segment. Press build. Next press the level pitch button which is in the middle of the pitch button set and press build. Now we will add in a boomerang specialty element. 
select Boomerang from the specialty segments and press Build. A transparent straight track should automatically be added to the end of the Boomerang section. Press the Break button on the top toolbar. The transparent section turns into a brake run. As our last step, click the Finish button to join the rails to the station and complete our coaster. Earlier I mentioned we were going to do some manual editing of the rails to create smooth hills. We will do this now. Theme Park Studio allows players to bend, pull, and stretch rails into almost any shape imaginable. Locate the section of your coaster just after the loop where it climbs and goes straight for a distance. You will notice the five blue spheres I mentioned earlier. Each of these spheres represents a track segment. By selecting the sphere and moving them, you can dynamically change the shape of your track. Larger separation between spheres can create smoother curves. Starting from the end closest to the loop, count the five spheres. Select sphere 2 and press the delete key. This just created a bigger gap between the remaining blue spheres. Click on the blue sphere to the right of the sphere we just deleted. Now hold down shift and left click and hold with the mouse and drag downwards. You will notice the blue sphere moves down and bends to rails to create a dip. You will also notice the supports automatically scale and rebuild in real time. Next select the blue sphere just to the right of the currently selected sphere. Press delete. This will create a larger gap for the second part of our dip. Finally, just click on the last node, which recalculates the tension on the track and creates a symmetric dip. Finally, we need to add some supports to fill in the newly created gap. Click on the support button on the bottom of the editor window. The support library appears across the top, displaying all the available support presets. Click on the six support from the left, the one with the two angled support tubes. You will notice the mouse changes to indicate we are in support placement mode. Next position the mover along the rail where there is a gap in the supports. As you hover over the rail it will glow red. The percentage number that you see indicates how far along the track segment you are with the mouse pointer. This can be helpful for aligning supports evenly. Left click with your mouse to add the support. Continue adding supports to fill in the remaining gaps as you see fit. You just completed your first coaster, complete with a lift, loop, boomerang, brakes, and handcrafted hills with supports. Now it's time to test our design. Press the test button on the coaster toolbar. The train appears in the station with guests preparing to exit. Beneath the test button are three camera options. While in test mode, you can toggle between first person view, third person external view, or return to the editor camera. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial. Once you master the basics, further tutorials will show you how to fine tune the appearance, layout, and function of your coasters. We look forward to seeing all the amazing coasters that you can create.